the reality is that last year, and actually the year before, we saw some pretty poor flows to emerging mar markets. In fact, EM saw massive outflows last year from its bond markets and in equity markets in aggregate. And uh, you know, the investors were very underweight, uh, positioning had pulled back substantially, valuations had cheapened. And what we're seeing now, and not just now, I think really since the beginning of November, uh, a real flow back into EM assets and it's, it's, you know, it's lifting, it's all tied here, it's lifting everything in EM at the moment. Obviously, as you say, China is key here and we're seeing uh, China flows pick up rapidly, in, particularly in the equity market. But even the bond market in December has saw its first flow in over 10 months. Uh, so clearly investors are moving back into EM strongly, helped by a weaker dollar above all. Uh, but also the fact that we're approaching peak U.S. rates um, and the fact that uh, now uh, central banks across EM are finally starting to grip, get to grips with inflation as well. So I think more of that's going to come in the months ahead. All right, so a week of dollars driving a lot of these flows. Uh, I get that, as it always does historically for uh, money flows into uh, EM. But, but you know, the, the, the question that's up for grabs right now, and we were talking about this earlier this morning over the World Economic Forum in uh, Davos, folks like Jamie Dimon think that uh, Terminal Fed could be north of five. And earlier uh, this year, you actually uh, mentioned uh, the six handle. Jim Gorman, uh, Morgan Stanley, thinks, look, uh, things are going to be in happy, happy la-la land at 4% across the board for rates, for inflation, and for uh, unemployment. Y you know, there, there are a lot of divergent opinions in which could, uh, which could have an effect on dollar and could have effect on these portfolio flows into EM, which, which are very fickle. That's right. Look, I think that's true, Martin. I think the reality is the Fed keeps telling us they want to keep rates higher for longer. And at what point that higher is, is a question. Uh, as you say, is it five and a half, six? Is it, you know, is it where we are now? I think our view is that, you know, we could still see potentially uh, the terminal rate above 5%, but the market is pricing in close to 5%. Um, and if the Fed, therefore, increments of hiking are lower, for example, now there's a few Fed speakers talking about 25 basis points at the next Fed meeting, then it again suggests the Fed is, is very close to approaching that terminal rate. And I think if that is the case, that will be helpful for risk assets broadly. But of course, look, a lot depends on the labor market. For example, yesterday's jobless claims data showed still a lot of strength in the US jobs market. And we're not really seeing an easing there. And that's something the Fed is very, very cognizant of. So I, I still think the Fed has work to do here uh, before they start seeing uh, an easing in wage pressures and really get on top of inflation, which, as we know, is still well above the Fed's target. 